How is it going everybody? I'm Daniel, this is Daniel Baltech and today I'm finally filming my second video about the Apple Watch and that is the best tips, tricks and features about the best watch on the planet. So keep in mind that I'm going to show you right now generally tips and tricks that are hidden and you've probably never seen and never heard or never saw it because I'm not going to show you the main things, the buttons, the operations I'm just, I'm just going to show you things that you probably don't know keep in mind that some of these features are relatively old since uh, the first OS and some of these features are new uh, just regarding the watch OS 3 so keep watching, I'm pretty sure you're going to like it so let's go ahead and dig in Okay, so let's get started. Tip number one is regarding notifications. So if you have a lot of notifications and you don't want to delete one by one, what you have to do is force touch on the notification screen and clear all. So then you're going to be clear of notifications. Okay, number two is very similar to a multitasking feature. And what you have to do is, let's say you are in a reminder app and then you go to your music and you want to go back to the reminder. So you double click on the digital crown and then you go back to the previous application and then you go on and on so that's pretty handy one very cool tip is that if you are a runner and if you like to do outdoor sports you can calibrate your Apple watch I'm gonna have a link in the description uh, with the Apple web page that they describe how you calibrate it's kind of a pain you have to go to a to a open field and you have to walk for a few minutes and you have to run in these things but the calibration process seems to work very well and uh, if you are a runner and you do outside sports, uh, outdoor sports, it may be uh, worth having a look. If you like listening to music on your Apple Watch, uh, if the source is the phone or even the Apple Watch itself, some feature that you may not know is that if you force touch the music app, you have some buttons like shuffle, repeat, the source of the music, so it could be from the phone or it could be uh, from the Apple Watch itself. And also, and also, you can go through AirPlay and select uh, if you want to play this with your iPhone, your Airport Express, or your Apple uh, Apple TV, or maybe a Bluetooth speaker, something like that. So some advanced buttons on your music app. All right, this is something very cool. Uh, if you are inside any app and you want to go back to the default screen and your default screen is generally your watch, your watch face what you have to do is just cover your phone with your hand and then it, it, it turns black and then it goes back to your watch so that's pretty cool so don't you don't have to go through all those steps like if you're here and then you want to go here and then go here to go back so just put your hand on top the screen goes black and then you go back to the first page that's pretty cool using the same principle of putting your hand on top of, uh, of your screen is that if you're receiving a phone call and then it should ring in a bit so then if you're receiving a phone call as you see right here and then on my phone if you put your hand on top of your phone it silenced the phone call so it's not vibrating anymore but uh, it didn't hang up on the person okay so it's still ringing but it's not vibrating anymore it is not vibrating here and it would stop ringing loudly if it was uh, doing so but it's on the silent mode so then you just silent the phone call without actually hanging up but uh, you don't have the hassle of having it ringing or uh, vibrating on the wrist and also silence on the phone so that's pretty cool one awesome feature that a lot of people don't know is that inside the iMessage app you can actually send your location directly through your Apple Watch so you force touch within a message and then you send location and then you're good to go another pretty cool feature is that if your app is unresponsive which is not very common you can force close the application and what you do is you you hold the power button and when the screen the screen appears the power off in emergency SOS you hold the digital crown and then it goes back to the home screen but when you open it it opens from the beginning so it, you actually force close the app so that's pretty cool if the app isn't responsive another pretty cool feature is that you can actually find your lost phone if it is uh, in a close range so what you do is you swipe up you swipe up and then you tap on this icon that shows a phone with some uh, sounds uh, on, on their side so then you tap and then it's gonna emit this sound 
Replying a message on the Apple Watch can be kind of tricky because you don't have a screen to type. So you have those uh, messages right here. Okay, so you have those quick replies. But sometimes, actually most of the times, you don't actually want to use them because they don't serve for the, for the purpose. So what you can do is you can go through your, you can get your iPhone and then you can go to uh, messages right here. And then on the bottom, you have default replies. So then you have all those default replies right here. And you have smart replies, which are those. So these are the default that come with uh, the Apple Watch. And what you can do is scroll down and go to add reply. And then you can add anything, pretty much anything. And then as long as you have this thing right here, it's going to show on your Apple Watch as well. So then you can actually use to reply. And you can add it. And move it up if you think that's more uh, relevant to you so then you can just move it up and then it's gonna be the first and then you carry it can create a second third and fourth so then you have your custom replies right here and if you just want your custom replies to appear you can um, disable these mark replies and you're just gonna see the ones that you created so that's pretty handy Another cool, t cool thing about receiving a phone call on your Apple watch is that you have some options you can select so I'm waiting for a phone call right now and I'm getting it right here and on my Apple Watch and then you can actually swipe up to send a message or answer on the phone. So then you can just have these two options that you can't really see unless you swipe up. Another very cool thing is regarding the battery. So everyone knows that you can see the battery right here on your Apple Watch or you can just add via customization and you can add the complication. So you can add this complication battery and then you can see the battery of your Apple Watch. But what a lot of people don't know is that you can actually see the battery of your Apple Watch through your phone. So what you have to do is you swipe left, okay, right here in the uh, notification center and you have to come down, go and hit edit and then add batteries. I'm just going to move it up so it's going to be easier for us to take a look. So by doing that, right here on the battery tab, you're going to have the battery of your iPhone, 46%, and the battery of the Apple Watch, 38 So that's a very cool and easy way to track the battery of your Apple Watch directly through your iPhone. Speaking about batteries, if you're almost out of juice, but you still want to be able to see the time, what you can do is click on the battery icon, and you're going to be prompted with power reserve. So you can see there you have 37% battery remaining, and you can tap on battery reserve, and then it's going to tell you that battery reserve prolongs battery life by turning by turning off all the features except the current time to exit power reserve press and hold the side button okay so all you have to do is hit proceed and your phone, your apple watch is going to have a black screen just showing the time and then you exit out of it by holding the side button so that's pretty cool if you just want to squeeze a couple more hours just seeing the time speaking about desperation if your Apple Watch is unresponsive and you cannot close the app and you cannot do anything, it's just completely froze, which is very, very rare, you can actually heart reset the device by holding the digital crown and the power button at the same time. So you have to hold them for about 10 seconds and your Apple Watch will heart reset. It will turn off and then turn back on. And the final feature is that you can unlock your Mac using your Apple Watch. Okay, this is actually a free feature. A lot of people, you have a lot of videos on YouTube about people showing you how to do that, but using paid applications. But you can actually do it for free, and I have, and I have a video about it. And I'm going to have a link in the description, so then you can have a look and see how you can unlock your Mac just using your Apple Watch for free. And it's a very, very easy process. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it. Those are the 15 tips, features, and tricks that you can use with your Apple Watch. I hope you really, really enjoy it. Uh, and please, if you did, hit the like button and also the subscribe button so you know when I post a new video, which will be next week. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.